Hello to everyone in the world, welcome to another Mercury Bay Airport video of mine and today I went to the city center and found these amazing light bulbs uh, we have this uh, solar 175 clear topper uh, mercury vapor bulb but we are going to see this amazing bulb in another video today we are going to focus in this Philips 250 watt uh, deluxe white um, uh, bulb so as you can see the box is amazing I love this like vintage um, um, in vulture, I, I, I don't know how to call this like sleeve where you, you can call it. Uh, okay, so this actually is a Mexican bulb, this is a vintage Mexican bulb, so that makes it uh, more unique. Um, I'm going to translate here. Here you have a mercury vapor lamp, a high pressure HPLN 250 watt. This is like the old version of my new. Let me show you here. Philips 100 and 250 watt uh, HPLN uh, mercury vapor, but. The old one obviously is more interesting. Um, here you, it says that um, you need to use it with uh, auxiliary uh, um, equipment like ballast and a proper fixture and all that. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much it for the for the uh, sleeve. As you can see, it's pretty simple but really really beautiful. And um, so let me show you the bulb. Uh, I'm going to be really, really, really careful here because as a collector you don't want to break uh, this uh, paper which is really, really, really delicate. As you can see inside you have the bulb and a little instruction manual. And I'm going to show you right here. Let me be really, really, really careful here. I don't want to break any of it. It's really, really easy to get out, to get it out. So, here is all you have inside. You have um, the, the bulb itself and a little instruction manual that all it says is that you, how, how to, um, how to use it, how to install it, how you need to use a proper ballast approved for um, approved for uh, in uh, some uh, Mexican uh, regulator uh, brand or something. Uh, if you want, I can translate this and put it in the in the description below. Anyway, so here is the bulb itself. As you can see, um, here is the edge. It's pretty simple. Um, uh, well, something, well, it, the, the bulb is actually brand, brand new. There you have um, some mercury splashed in the, in the arc tube. The arc tube is super, super um, shiny and, and new. It, it, it has never been used in a really, really long time. And if you want to know how, how long, uh, as you can see this little stamp here before, this is the date stamp and I made this little table here. Some Philips um, manufacturer dates comes in, in this way and if you look at this, uh, if, the, if the letter comes first and then the, the number, it, it could be from from two ways or either is made in from 1980 to 1989 or is made from 2000 to 2009 but if you look at that that obviously is not made in 2004 as this suggests so if you look at this this bulb was actually made in february 1984 which makes this bulb two months older than my really loved Mercury Westinghouse safeguard, lifeguard, sorry, clear bulb. So today we are going to um, use for the first time this really, really, really old bulb. So with no more to say, let's go 
and put it in the fixture. Okay, so here we have our old friend, uh, this VLN 250 watt uh, mercury vapor street lamp to prove the new Philips 250 watt uh, deluxe white bulb. Now, I'm really excited about this because I have never seen a deluxe white uh, coated mercury vapor bulb in action as we are going to do today. This is the first time this bulb is going to uh, start in three four years if if I'm correct um, there you can see the the electrode is it's huge so, and some mercury splashes splashes more down there so anyway with no more to say let's put it into the fixture and prove it out There we go. Let's plug it in. Nice start there. It took really, really, really long to stabilize. Right now it's giving out a really, really pinkish color right there. It's getting a little bit more white. It looks whiter on, on camera, but it's more pinkish. In, in my eyes, as you can. You, you can clearly see the arc tube and oh my god, now it's really pinking on camera. But you can see the arc tube. There you go. Beautiful. Getting a little bit more bright and more bright as well. I really like the color. But it's not at full brightness yet. So let's wait a little more. It's actually flashing. Little red flashes. Getting more and more bright. I don't know what the camera is doing. You know, as this thing is actually turning on and off 60 times per second, all that uh, vibration is, is captured by the camera with ugly like stripes. And now it's reaching full full brightness. I don't know if if it is at uh, full bright brightness yet, but it's getting pretty pretty bright and the color reproduction is it's not that good actually everything looks a little bit green but you know for mercury paper I think it's it's great look at that pretty 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 green yep this is getting really really bright Let's wait a little bit more. Now it is reaching full brightness. Okay, so there you go. My 250 watt uh, Philips bulb. Turn it on for the first time in 34 years. It's a long time. It's a deluxe white. And actually, right now, the, 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 the color reproduction improved a lot. But it's still a little bit green. But anyway, thanks for watching. And we will see you next time.